Hi everybody, it's Claire here from Wild Vision Collective. I'm just uh, doing interviews on Fridays with people who, artists who are in the show that we've got going on in Wellington Square. Um, so I've just uh, come to my studio. So it's all above board because I have a studio in here as well, in case you're thinking that I'm out and about visiting people, okay? I'm not. Um, I've come to the studio just to interview uh, Lorraine Brown, who is one of the artists, one of the painters in the show. Um, and I just thought it'd be really interesting for you to kind of see her studio, to, to hear from her directly, um, to see the kind of work that she does. Um, so I'm going to introduce you to uh, Lorraine, affectionately known in the studios as Laws. So here is, uh, here is Laws. Hello, everyone. Hello. You might have to speak quite loud. Hello, everyone. <laughs> so, Lorraine, this is your studio. I'll just give you a bit of a tour of Lorraine's studio. I've got some questions here that we did discuss and I've just forgotten again. Um, so, distance, distance, sorry, social out. distance. That is two meters. Yeah. Promise you. I well promise much. you that's two meters. OK, so Lorraine, you're an artist at Platform Arts mm -hmm. here. Uh, how long have you been making art? Forever. Always, always made art. Yeah. Being very small, very small. Always drawing, always painting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Always trying to find scraps of paper to draw and paint on. So I've always drawn and painted. Yeah. Whether I've got any better at this, well, that's... <laughs> Oh, I think so. Yes. I think so. Who, who knows? But <laughs> it's um, it's just something that I just always do. Good, good. Yeah. How long have you been making art um, more professionally? Probably since I retired from the day job. Okay. What was your day job? I worked for an undertaker. Okay. For twenty six years. Yeah. Well, I, I was still I was still practicing. I did a degree in the late nineties, and. Um, to just sort of try and knock myself together <laughs> and it just we we formed a studio group from there when we did the degree and uh, that was at Thornaby then form a limited formed a limited company and then uh, a charity as well and then we were offered this space here at platform the studios here at the station Middlesbrough station so we came here in 2005 okay so when I was Working during the day, I would come on an evening and work on an evening right. and a weekend. Gosh. <laughs> and um, so that was, I just kept painting then and exhibiting as well. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, so you've been painting, what, since about the late 90s, 2000? Um, in, in the studio setting, yeah, from late, late 90s. In the yeah, studio. yeah. Okay, so do you want to just tell us a little bit about your work? Notice you've got some work. Lorraine, Lorraine's always got loads of um, work. She's very prolific and productive, unlike myself. So, <laughs> so do you want to tell us yes, a little I bit? Yes, I do produce a lot of rubbish. Um, I wouldn't <laughs> say it's rubbish. all su successful by any means. Um, I do sort of uh, chase things very often up a blind alley. But what I learned there... I, I'm hoping that it's gradually taking me forward a little bit more and a little bit more. Yeah. Um, I uh, got interested in colour and light and shadow. Um, one day I was just sat and I saw this sort of shadow coming from under a sheet of paper that had colour underneath. And it, and I thought, oh, that's, that's like a strange thing, you know, to try and capture that sort of elusive changing light mm -hmm. because it changes which is quite obviously you can't do it in paint but you can try and find some kind of element of that mm -hmm. in, in, in painting but I found I had to really go into relief at that point to yeah. understand what was happening mm -hmm. and then I tried out different materials um, some successful some not some of these on the wall were well, from shall we walk the, over because um, I can't yeah, yeah. to be able to hear you I need you to yeah, be a some, little bit yeah, we're keeping distance, don't worry. I'm so, over here, she's over there. These pieces, I don't know whether you want to look at those. Yeah. They were um, completed a couple of years ago. And I'll just turn up the light so you can see the change. 
in I don't know whether it picks it up but they're designed they change with the light and so that yeah. reflective color um, and they change yeah so as, as, and sometimes if you get strong evening light they'll change again and, and yeah but I had to try well. and find the right form to express that that color and try and find the right form to do that with yeah and I think they're probably from the the curved pieces of the, this that, one that, yeah I think they were probably the most most successful yeah series I think there's a couple on the website and this this one here you might see this one better this one isn't framed but it's um and as you pan back and forth it obviously yeah. changes which is what relief's about so you can see that the yeah. shadow yeah. that the colour creates right. on the white yeah. creates coloured um, yeah. shadows and as you yeah. move yeah. it's different, it changes. So yeah, love that. They're Still great. haven't quite found the right materials for that. Right. I am looking. Um, um, so I, uh, after a bit I got sick of really cutting my fingers to ribbons. Yeah. I'll go back to painting for a bit and try and see what it's given me. Yeah, and um, and then I made those the pieces that are in the exhibition. They sort of evolved. Yeah, it takes me time. They might look those pieces as though they were done quickly, and I did state in the the bit Blurb. of a brief. Yeah. Yes, that uh, they weren't done quickly at all. No, I kept um, sanding them back and and deciding changing the colour in them, the colour contrast, and I was happy with them. Yeah, to try and create. I think it's. A certain mood, I think, in colour that you, yeah. you go for. Yeah, so colour's your thing, it's really, isn't it? It is. Yeah. But then again, these recent pieces, um, I think they're sort of quite... I think they may be even more about lockdown, actually. <laughs> <laughs> um, this, um, I've gone back... To, I, I realised that um, once I went back to oil paint, um, I really got really excited about it because I thought... I, had those, I knew there were things that I hadn't really thought about, hadn't really explored before, so I tend to, to lay down a, an acrylic sort of underpainting or whatever. Yeah. And then I got quite interested in old mas master t technique, glazing and working over a cartoon or a tonal kind of for frame format yeah. for the colour. And it suddenly got really, really exciting. So although I was quite excited about the relief pieces when I came back came back to painting I suddenly got really really excited about all possibilities that I hadn't considered before yeah um, I used to um, be quite figurative when I did the degree and and then I went on to teach life drawing for a little bit yeah um, they were really I did a lot and lot of figurative figure drawing and, yeah um, but I was always more interested in, in the surface of the colour in the skin and that, that mm -hmm. actually as much as anything so I think that's sort of come back around again but it's become quite abstract the work because it's just so much more satisfying so much more um, challenging I think yeah there suddenly didn't seem any point to um, depicting um, sort of reality such. Although I still do a lot of drawing from mm -hmm. from life and from oh absolutely yeah. still do a lot yeah. of studies and mm -hmm. uh, I'll go out to with friends and we'll go and draw outside and paint outside which I really really enjoy yeah but it isn't it's only what I I, I find from that that I bring back into yeah the your real work <laughs> Lovely work <laughs> yeah it's your other I work <laughs> yeah I think I think it's just it's just the way I work some yeah. people you know you, you, the point is about being an artist is to just be yourself, really. Yeah. You can't yeah. paint for other people. Yeah. You, yeah. You do it your way, or there's no point in doing it. Yeah. 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 Um, so that's basically my way of working at the moment. These pieces here, and I sort of went like quite from going from relief, it became quite geometric when I came back to 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 flat surface, and then I realised I really like really flat surface. Yeah. Absolutely, and canvas was ooh, you know. <laughs> I couldn't. Bit, I like to rough. sand down in between, yeah. and, um, and create sort of a feeling of texture, but only on a very, very fine surface. And then, if you're glazing, you really need to keep the paint under control, not get too 
like for what I was trying to do. Um, and then, as I say, I found some, gone back to canvas for a bit, some canvases I had, and uh, I've just got to go on one thing and now I'm doing something else. Yeah. So what are, you, what are you doing at the moment then? So tell me about these pieces here. A lot of these, um, the pieces that, this sort of piece, of, these are spaces, interior spaces. Yeah. And it probably comes from a couple of years ago when then I went to Pompeii, uh, when you could travel in them days. You know, you could get on in the olden days when you could <laughs> travel days, outside yeah. of Teesside. That's right, yeah. <laughs> and uh, it was the sense of... Um, the, the, the presence of people being there really just literally not very long ago, you know, although yeah. it is a long time, it, the, there's yeah. still that presence in those spaces and it's to do, I think, with the interior walls painted and the way that the rooms were arranged and those intimate spaces and they're still intimate, yeah. Yeah. even though there's actually nobody there anymore. Yeah. And so I, thought, I got quite interested in that. And it probably goes back to when I was young, young actually, because in Middlesbrough there used to be some bombed buildings at the end, and I remember being in a, in a pushchair and I was looking up at these, and they were buildings, they were demolishing them. And you know when people have had that kind of wallpaper on and it's hanging off, and you yeah. see where the fireplace was, where the steps were, mm -hmm. and all these marks on the walls. And I know artists use that sort of theme a lot, and it sort of stuck in my mind. Because part of me wanted to look at them for interest, and part of me was absolutely terrified. Yeah. Because they said, oh, that's where we were bombed. You yeah. Know, and yeah. And it used to be frightening, but really, I really wanted to look at them. Yeah. And a curiosity, I suppose. Yeah. A curiosity. Of, yeah. Uh, you know, a bit yeah. of a curious sort of nature. So, so the idea of years, going yeah. through spaces, which I think people in the lockdown have had to go through. Yeah. Go through to the kitchen, come back through to the living room, yeah. look out of the window. I do feel sorry for people that are totally shut in. Yeah. And I just got interested in that idea of occupation of interior space rather than um, outside the landscape. Yeah. I think it must be to do with... Um, I think it's a sort of a spiritual feeling, I hope, in you're looking for in paint yeah yeah so tell so tell me a little bit about your process though then so you were saying you're, you're doing sort of layering and yeah scraping back and yeah sanding back yeah i mean acrylic's okay as a paint it's okay i put it down in a thin thin layers as an underpainting to basically sort of work out the composition and the tonal the tonal values and then I put over a layer in that in oil so it's best to go thin on fat in yeah, oil, yeah. so a thin um, an umber or a, um, you, or black black you know greys is fine yeah, you know yeah. umbers and perhaps even a bit of a blue as well to create sort of a tone value and then as you can you can then you can come back and just if you think well that tone's too dark or too light there, you can come back over the top because you're keeping the paint thin. You can come back and scumble the white on or mm -hmm. just to, to bring that up again. Yeah. So things start mm -hmm. to go like this, you know, all mm -hmm. the time. It's mm -hmm. like a bit of a, a change. And I find that exciting in painting. Yeah. It's, um, and it's all about balance, you know, looking for that sort of balance that creates this mood, I think. Yeah. And, but it's slow. So then to just build up your glazes slowly. That piece there on the table, um, Claire. If you saw that was going. This oh yeah, I saw this when it was yeah, when so it didn't have the scumbled yeah, white on top. Right. So that to me is now a really exciting surface. Yeah. Um, I did want some really some colour to come through. Um, from underneath. So, but then I sanded it back, and then I've just scumbled the white on. And when it's really dry, I'll be able to come back and glaze and probably work. On that a little bit tonally more. Yeah. Um, so that's a series of doorways basically. Yeah. With a geometric. So you've got how how many four pieces on the go, five mm -hmm. pieces on the go at once. Oh yeah. 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 That's that's. And is that I mean me. spe you know speaking to people on here yeah. who might be a little bit at different stages. Right. Um, is that how you would. Oh, yeah. normally works you'd yeah. have a few bits on the go at the same time yeah. so yeah. it's been on the go for years <laughs> <laughs> we're like 
<laughs> I know the feeling. <laughs> so, so, I mean, if you get to something and think, oh, it's frustrated with this and I don't know what to do, which I did with a piece the other day, and it's something, it's some of the outside space, it was becoming more inside space, it was becoming more and more outside, and it was completely going the wrong way, so it went away from anyway, came back, sanded it all down, and got rid of that, you know, and then um, working back on it again now. But some pieces have now been there for a long time. Yeah, and, and you just cycle them. And you get them back home. Yeah, and work I mean, some pieces them. that I was sort of working in a patterny way even a couple of years ago, and, and I sort of slapped a bit of pattern and things on. And then they got put back. But then I quite liked that. And I thought, oh, that will work with what I'm trying to do here to get this, like this one. Although it's not, you're getting that feeling of. Um, we'll go a bit closer because yeah. it's hard to um, get, that get the idea. of an under sort of painting coming yeah. through. And, yeah. Um, so things that have been on the walls and uh, over time, you know, they're about yeah. time as well, I think. Yeah. I think they're about time. So would you say that that's a good thing to do if people get a bit stuck? Um, or you know, or or that maybe there's th- things that they could put away and come back oh, to. Oh, absolutely! Oh, yeah, absolutely! Yeah, yeah, definitely. And if you get, you know, when that dries really nice, nice and dry, you can sand it, and suddenly gets exciting again. Yeah. Some of the um, the paint that I have left over on the palette, rather than wipe it off, I've been scraping it onto oh, yeah. a series of. Uh, pieces of sort of board that Steve upstairs, bless him, gave me. His so I, I saw this the other so day, I thought these were great. These um, these are just scrapings, really, but they're sort of things are emerging that I might use, and I think probably this one that that's oh, probably yeah. coming through into that painting over there. Yeah, um, they're very landscapey, very seascapey, which is good, a good fun, you know. But then, you know, I couldn't resist putting in the triangle yeah. <laughs> something that makes that space, I don't know, odd in a way, yeah, like yeah, odd yeah. things. Um, or to make them more abstract, probably, and more mysterious. Yeah, where's your UFO one? Oh, the UFO one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it is. Right. So we were having a laugh so about this have, little um, UFO. Scrapings of paint, and then it's really nicely dried. And then I've glazed a, a see-through object on there. Um, they're not they're not finished or resolved or anything like that. They're no. just evolving. All of them, mm-hmm. depending on what paint I've got left. And mm-hmm. I think, oh, it'll, it'll work on that one, or I'll, I'll put it on there and see see what happens. Totally, that's that's um, really lovely. Really like totally, that one. Yeah. Some of them look more conventional, don't they? Mm-hmm. Another, um, well, yeah. The other ones, um, I can get some ideas, perhaps some large paintings. Yeah. So. Uh, don't waste paint. Don't waste. <laughs> you can, if if you like some of <laughs> some of these things, um, you can always send a message, and I'll see if Lorraine will sell you something, because she makes a lot of work, <laughs> and uh, it's very good, you know. So. Just if you see anything that you're inspired yeah. by, just uh, <laughs> drop me a little message and I'll ask Laws if she's willing to. I'm sure she will be willing to sell. <laughs> that one there, the um, hanging forms. That the, the one in the shadow yeah, one. I'll, yeah. I wonder if there's a python pl- prize with that one. If you oh, that's very good. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah, let me see if I can see. Yeah, I did a quite bit. a few of those. And that's got the shadow, the yeah, colour shadow yeah, in it yeah. as well. So it's like changes. It yeah. Because change. on the Wild Vision, we're having a little art challenge yeah. on yeah. Wild Vision Collective, and we're ha- we're going to do four weeks of um, different themes for people. Mm-hmm. Um, so this week the theme is colour, so it fits quite well. So I was just thinking, you know, most people probably would just think in terms of paint you know yes. but actually you know there's paint there's color in natural forms that you could yeah. collect oh, there's color absolutely. in shadow yeah um there's all kinds of different ways yeah. of depicting yeah. Yeah. or using yeah. color and the subtleties that you can get with oil obviously in oil blends is, yeah is what you, i'm particularly interested in this corner of the studio here belongs to andy McEwen. yeah these and if he sits there it looks like he's got a pair of wings which i find quite amusing <laughs> He doesn't realise that when I'm looking at him, I'm looking at an angel. Um, yeah. So 
We'll talk about him later. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. He's, he's, he's not in our exhibition. <laughs> <laughs> Stuff's too big. <laughs> so I think we'll sign off. Okay. Um, but that's very, very, yeah. very interesting. But please, um, man, we, we do get a chance to have an open day. Please come down to Platform. Yeah. Because we're all different. And yeah. We yeah. all work in different ways. Yeah. Some of us do more, more work than others as well. <laughs> well, it's easy for me because I haven't got a, you know, a job, have I? You know, no, well, I, people, yeah, I don't have got to earn a living as well. Yeah. But I did teach to yeah, supplement yeah. the yeah. <laughs> but not that. But I did enjoy teaching. Okay, well, we'll right. say goodbye to Lorraine, Bye, Loz. Thank Bye. you. That was great. Thank you okay. for, um, for chatting and telling us about your work. And we shall see you at the show yeah. on the... 5th of December that's the private right. view and then if you haven't got a ticket for the private view we're open on the 5th, 6th and 8th uh, on the Tuesday, Tuesday the 8th um, you can come and the public can come and have a look around so hope to see you, bye keep painting <laughs>